My name is Matias. I would like to invite you to my next course in the Future Media Academy website. Um, the course is called High Tech Music for Beginners, and it's a, it's a 15-hour course based uh, on on my method of working with Ableton Live and uh, well other BSTs and tools. The course is presential. You have you have to be there to take each class, but uh, the classes are recorded and uploaded to the, to the website every day so in case you miss one class or you cannot assist uh, there is the possibility to watch them until as long as the course is active you will be able to to watch the class so thank you guys for watching i'll leave you with a little tutorial video or a little uh, piece sample of, of one of the classes and uh, yeah, see you there So um, in an FM synthesizer, I'm not gonna do the first sound, the first FM sound with this, but rather with with an operator. Operator, it's also a FM synthesizer, as you can tell here inside the FM8 and the FM7, that the oscillators themselves they are called mm -hmm. operators. So you go to the ops tab, and you will see that um, yep, this guy has six operators or six oscillators. A, B, C, D, E, F. In the case of the operator itself, the Ableton Live's operator, this guy has only four. But it's clearly and uh, mainly uh, an FM synthesizer. You can see here the algorithms from left to right. Uh, left to right going from more FM to least FM. Like this one doesn't have any FM. This one has only one oscillator doing FM. This one has one oscillator doing FM, but go into all of the oscillators, etc. Et this one is the most uh, aggressive one, more noisy one. So the FM sound is this. This is the FM sound by itself. It's a very nice sound, very dirty, very uh, distorted, very lead type. No, it's a very lead type of sound. But there's so many sounds that you can make with the FM synthesis. There is a, the, it's a very experimental type of synthesis that you sometimes you don't know what you're gonna get once you get into it, once you start moving things. But the, the general gesture is a very metallic, distorted, dirty sound. In FM, we have these two new concepts that are modulating oscillators and carrier oscillators. Modulating oscillator is an oscillator that you don't hear directly through the uh, master output of this of the synthesizer, but you hear the modulation that it produces on the rest of the carrier oscillator. Taking this first algorithm as an example, the, the one that is there by default, this one kind of connects all, chains them all together. So the FM that happens from this guy to this, the modulation that happens, this guy D modulating C, then goes quietly to modulate B which already has, has a modulation from some FM modulation because these two guys were doing FM already. So this FM signal goes to modulate this one. And before it goes to the output, goes quietly, more FM, more noisy signal to the modulation of A. So if I have a very noisy FM sound, but I kind of uh, tune down the volume of, of B, I will have no no FM at all. So FM allows us by the combining this, all these oscillators to create a timber that is not saw or a sine or a square or a triangle. These actually are all signs, but when I put them together, they don't produce a sign anymore. If I put them separately, they are all signs. If I put them, I put them like this, you can see all the peaks. You can see my root node. That, that is one of the key things that defines the timbre of the sound is the volume or the amount of FM because the more volume, the more amount of FM. The course or the multiplier that you put, the higher the, the course, the, the higher the frequency response for this modulation. If, I, if my sound is, is a FM sound that I like, but it's too opaque and uh, too dull or let's say too low frequency 
I can always open up one of these multipliers to gain response on this part of the, on the higher end part of the, take a look at what happens when I put this volume up. Most of the response that I get is here because of the nature of these oscillators, my frequency is too high, it's 26 times the frequency that is uh, being put to, to the carrier oscillator. So this yellow one is the only carrier one, as you can tell, it's the only carrier because it's going out straight to the output. You can see here, we have modulation on all of this, but this one goes straight out. So that one of the main things that controls the output timbre of the sound is the, the multiplier. Um, but, uh, well, well, these multipliers can also create dissonance and consonance. If we go back to the first, the algorithm on the, on the right, this algorithm uh, doesn't have any FM and it will show us the, uh, the, the, the peaks for these uh, oscillators individually. So well, I will put 4, 8, and 2. This 4, 8, and 2 will show me the original G that I'm playing, but also the next G two times by oscillator 2, and also the next G is four times this frequency, G2, and also the next G, which is um, eight the times this frequency. So this will give me a very consonant timbre and a timbre that is sweet and it's a kind of a sign but brighter because it, it will show me that that octave and four octaves more. This uh, same relation, I mean, if I put two, three, two, five, and eleven here, I'm not going to have the same consonance. It's going to be a more diff dissonant timbre. This is subtracted synthesis. On the other hand, what we were talking about before, this is FM synthesis. They're not going to be summed up together in the filter. They are all going to be modulating each other. The course or the multiplier that you put to the synthesizer, it also matters a lot. Because if you want to go for a dissonant FM, this 3, 5, and 11 is going to work fine. But if you want to go for a more consonant FM, let's say 2, 4, 8, Still gonna be a sound, uh, an FM sound, but it's gonna be more dirty, more uh, more consonant, more clean. Let's compare that to three, five, and eleven. In this case, sounds better dissonant. With this three, five, and eleven, it sounds better to my ears. But more dirty. So. Uh, so FM sounds that we can actually apply to our tracks. Uh, it's uh, basically the FM leads. That's very easy and simple. You just pull all these guys up and uh, we make a sequence. So let's go again. I will delete this operator and go again. It's basically an operator with uh, all the levels of the uh, modulation oscillators, the D, B, and C, the, all the levels of the FM mount at maximum, and then we can pull down the transposition a couple of days. This will give you the lead, not basically. Now you have to do a couple of things. First, maybe filter it a little bit to get a more, uh, finished product idea in our minds before we go into the actual sound. So let's say we have that and we duplicate that a few times. I'm gonna simplify. One of the oscillators is gonna have a high level coerce, something like that, but low, low level because too much uh, multiplayer then it gives a lot of uh, distortion also in that range of frequency. So if we put a lot of quartz or multiplier, we need to bear in mind the level. You cannot leave it like that, you gotta find a better one. 
You can go the route of a consonant uh, FM, which is always multiples of 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, blah, blah, blah. Or you can uh, just find it by ear, the one that you want. That's, that's what I normally use. I try to set it more or less in the ballpark that I like. Let's say I want one that is around 8, then one that is around 16, and one that is around 30. And then you, you fine tune them. Right? For example, It sounds different, 14 sounds different. I'm going to leave 16 for this one. 5 in the second oscillator sounds very different as 7. So you need to make up your mind there. Who sounds good as well. No? We have the modulation, the automation, and we have the modulation inside the clip, so we could actually move this around a little bit more widely. So, yeah, uh, we have more movement on this cutoff. Put some compression on it. Some more, I don't already have, but some more compression on it. So um, that is the first, most, most simple FEM lead that you can do with, with operator. But we saw last class also the other types of leads that we did with a fixed frequency oscillator. In this case, uh, the frequency of this oscillator is fixed. So in order for this to modulate a carrier with, with a proper note tuning to it, we need to find which LFO speed corresponds to the, to the keynote of this track. So around 41, we have uh, the F. Can I get an F, please? Ah, oh, there you go, okay, so 29. Yeah, 29. Is... So we have uh, an oscillator, the LFO, modulating uh, the pitch of this. So that's our first, first FM modulation. But if this thing doesn't cut it, you can always add some synced modulation. Be between these two guys, you should more or less approach the sound that you know. If if your if your FM if your operator LFO modulation wasn't dirty enough, maybe with this one we can get there. Huh? 